eyes on your TV. Blink box the best Hello, TV online. Again, I'm watching uh, Death Train on YouTube. I'm only going to watch this for a few minutes. I remember this film very vaguely from um, used to be on late at night. I've got a bit of a cold, so if I sniffle, that's why. It always seems to be stuck on TV at about 11.30, kind of midnight time. So it's kind of appropriate that I've started watching this at like 11.22. And um, you'd expect a film called Death Train to be kind of exciting. But this film seems to be like the filler film. For whenever the schedules are empty or they can't think of um, something to stick on, they stick this movie on. It's one of those films you kind of like, guarantee you'll see in the schedules every month at some point. Okay. Christopher Lee's in this film. What happened, Christopher Lee? What are you doing? Who else is in this? Laurie Marlowe, Clark Peters. A lot of people I've never heard of in my life. Pierce Brosnan and Patrick Stewart. What are they doing signing up for this piece of rubbish? You know. Um, even the beginning's kind of bland. I'm watching it now. I can see why they just stick this on. It's like it's like the last resort film, you know. It's like they go into the archives and they look at all the films available on the shelf and they see this film gathering dust. Well, it doesn't gather dust because it's stuck on so often. And uh, they say, ah. Oh. Can you hear that's Patrick Stewart? He's acting very well. This plutonium was stolen. Yeah. Gram by deadly gram. Correct. From a German nuclear power plant. How can you steal plutonium from a nuclear power plant? You know, I'm sure there's some guy that sits there guarding the stuff. My organization, the United Nations Anti Crime Organization, uh -huh. responds to nuclear terrorism. United so, Nations Anti Crime Organization, is there such a, a thing? German physicist used this stolen plutonium to be called UNACO. nuclear bombs. His be a cool acronym for a, an organization. They always called UNACO. Dr. Leipzig's gadgets, as we call them, utilized components smuggled out of the former Soviet Union. Yeah. Highly restricted components supplied by a renegade Russian general. Why is it in this nuclear power station they have this really cool lighting going on? The utmost. German craftsmanship. Yeah. You see, the Russian general needed two bombs to change the course of world events. And Dr. Leipzig Can he make do with one? Job. It was the ideal partnership. Until Until it looks like he just went travelling through time. What the hell was that effect? Oh, he's just realised his dinner's done in the microwave. I am irradiated. Your neutron gun I was testing it and it ruptured. Christopher Lee looks pissed. Christopher Lee's got banging moustache in this movie. Is it bomb? What about it? <laughs> Is it as good as your hat? Just in case you didn't know where Bremen is, it's in Germany, okay? Yeah. We're gonna pull a lot of overtime. Mm -hmm. well, of course, when you go on train, you need lots of spades too. Yeah, they're handy. Well. I can't release your car without agricultural inspection. Yo! Radio for clearance now. Okay, let's go. Why would there be only one security guard working on this train at night? Control. Track 18. Engine 4402. Ready for departure. There'd be more than one guy, surely. This is government cut the second square now, come on. 
Okay, that guy just got hit in the head and he seems to have got injured more than what he should have done. standing in the one place with over the light. How convenient. Look, I know the train was late, but that's a bit extreme. Don't need to do that, does it? The Swiss team from Cool Runnings are here. Be careful. I'm in the wrong movie. <coughs> Is this David Blaine's train? It's got DB on the side. Perhaps it'll disappear. We'll be saved from this horrible film movie. <coughs> you know what? I can't watch any more of this. As much as I love giving a stupid running commentary on it, I got to stop. If you want to carry on watching it, I'll put a link uh, down below where you can uh, watch the rest of it for free. I enjoy it. It's an amazing movie like I had just out of it. Now, Kentucky, that's in the USA as well, in case you didn't realise. People that don't buy Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you'll never want to watch Death Train for Life, just in case you do, it's available on YouTube, people. <laughs> 